A baseball team from Glendora came up short in its quest to reach the Little League World Series. But as KCAL 9 Jake Reiner shows us, they were still the big winners in the hearts of local fans. In the sweltering San Bernardino heat resembling the surface of the sun, Glendora's all-star Little League team Some of these boys have been together since they were six and seven years old. Tried to keep their big dreams alive of making it to Williamsport. Underneath the umbrellas and awnings were parents and families cheering. A Glendora team that just last year made it to a state championship at age 11. Jessica Salazar, mother of catcher Jude Munoz, was all about every moment. Uh, Jessica, I've seen you cheering for just about everyone. I thought everyone was your son on this team. I'm super excited, so proud of them. They're such a great team. Even Jude's younger brother, Kane, gave us his professional analysis. I think he has a lo lots of great potential to play the position. I'm really proud of him with what he's done in this past year. Oh boy, as this one wears on, the ups and downs of an elimination game. Feeling the nerves yet or what? Uh, yeah, that's why I have this towel right here. You know, I got to bite it and wipe my sweat. Gustavo and Jessica Kalkanis watched their son Joshua get a hit. There you go! And score a run. It's very awesome. He's been working hard at it. The team has been working hard at it. Frank Bush didn't have a kid on this team, but he's become somewhat of a Glendora Little League super fan, keeping tabs on them since last year. I've been coming every year for 12 years, and to finally come down and be with a team that's here, I mean, I can't tell you how exciting that is. So when they lost on a heartbreaking wild pitch in the final inning, Frank Bush had these words to offer. It, it hurts, but I, I'm so proud of these kids that they made it this far. I mean, it's tough to lose that way. They're going to cry for a little while, but they're going to be fine. Despite the elimination, it would have been a tall task for the Glendora team because had they won today, they would have needed to win at least two more games to make it to Williamsport. In San Bernardino, I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News.